starting to realize that this arc, this God Selection Exam arc, it's like a Pokemon battle because the gods were just being used to be summoned or be possessed as so that the Baldi could fight against Anos. And Anos has no Pokemon. So like, think about it like this. Anos in this arc has to fight a bunch of Pokemon masters with his bare hands. He beats the shit out of the Pokemons. And then that's, I don't know, that's pretty much the arc. Not really. Arcana, the girl who has, I forget the other guy's name, the piece of shit, right? The whole thing is like, the gods need to be benevolent. They need to be willing to redeem, you know, helpless people. That's why she picked, she picked her, him, right? And she kind of like absorbed all the different Pokemon dust to Ahide, right? So she's like absorbing this shit. So she's gonna get stronger. And then maybe later on, Arcana gets so stronger and Anos will have to fight Arcana, the Pokemon. I don't fucking know. And then it seems like Arcana keeps saying he needs to be saved, but maybe she needs to be saved. And who would do that? Anos, let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Zesha goaded. I will stand by Zesha all fucking day. <laughs> During the ceremony, there seems to be a bit of a skip between this event and where we ended last time, right? With a pinch of courage. I forget, that's some season one shit. Hero used barrier magic to kill dragons. Alright, human magic. Barrier magic. So reds. Red barrier. Wait, 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 wait. The ancient dragons that turn dark cannot be complete. Okay, so they can overcome Digidia. So red, anything that's not like dark green or something dark is variant. Without a backward glance. Don't look back, basically. Oh, the reason why it's all staticky here. This is his hologram. This this is his, his presentation. Okay. You're a hybrid. More Emilia Redemption? Or are people gonna shit on her? Right, so ask, right? It's a human thing. It's like um, spirit bomb, right? You have to like give people their energy. That's how we were fighting against the heroes, right? And, and then Anos had his cheering squad. And it was like, nah, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality, right? So is anyone gonna actually cheer and give Emilia magic? Or are they gonna be like, nah, you fucking suck, phony teacher? <laughs> Nobody? You heard the man. There it is. Ask. Okay, their energies are going there. A person that can use both demon and human magic. Kind of insane, right? What Amelia is? Damn it. She's more talented at human magic than she is at like demon magic. And she was like a huge elitist that, you know, hated, you know, like she was like a classist, right? She hated like the non-royals and like the, not the purebloods, right? <laughs> Very ironic. <laughs> this is some fucking EK shit. EK from Classroom the Elite sexually harassing Chabashira, the teacher. You know what? She's quiet. If she doesn't say anything, that Emilia looks caught, dude. Just her face. The kid's a fucking freak. I like her better when she's- This kid is talking like a fucking veteran, bro. What- what the fuck? Okay, he's got a- he's a very seasoned experience here. That's probably why they're thinking it. <laughs> hmm? Oh, she heard it. She heard it. <laughs> Well, not really. You fail by yourself. They have no respect for them. Damn. Like, how is she gonna win these kids over? Dude, I just feel so bad. Because, like, these kids do not respect her at all, dude. Imagine being a teacher and you got these fucking random ass fucking 14 year old kid just calling it cringe. L. L. Cringe. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? How do I reach these kids? Uh, 
Is it Baldi? Oh my god, it's him. We should make him flee from the dragon. That's what we should do. Make him run from the dragon. He can't fucking run, dude. He'd fucking waddle and then fall immediately. You know what? I'm starting to realize that the only way that the Amelia is going to be able to relate and get the respect of these kids is through this guy. Because if we have a common enemy, right? If we have a common enemy, then it is possible to win the favor of the kids because we everybody hates this guy. So this guy, this character, might actually be quite, you know, uh, crucial and more clutch than we might think. He's like the fall guy. Have you even taken out a dragon? But then he would say, well, I'm not a hero, so I'm allowed to. But you guys are heroes, so you need to fucking do it. And it's like, oh, I fucking hate this guy. The fuck? Ew, get out of my face. You're just being cordial, right? Oh, oh, oh! She can still hear his thoughts? I thought you could only hear the thoughts if it's during the barrier fucking magic thing, but we can hear it right now. Huh. Mm. I feel for him. I feel like I shouldn't because he kind of sucks. But at the same time, you know, it's like it, they, they expect them to be the real deal. But they got set up, right? It's like, shit, he didn't ask to be fucking born like this. Eh, ah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do still. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she would hug him. I thought she would hug him and be like, it's okay. I got you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> you gotta do some, some. This is not out of line. Sometimes you need to fucking let these kids know. Now, if you did this in real life, you probably get fired. But like the point here is you gotta let these fucking kids know who the boss is here. Lay down the line. Wait, wait. Was she here the entire time? <laughs> when the fuck did he show up? Erdome is just having the time of his life. Because everyone's feelings were united? East Desert. Alright, field trip time. Let's go! Anoshu's still here. Anoshu and Miria. Can't tune a date. I should probably assume that he's a piece of shit, but he seems dignified right now, so this is what the king of the humans? This academy? Okay. Jesus Christ. Alright. All 26? How could this be? Khan's kind of fishy, right? Who did this? Use the spear sword, cut them in half, but sever their fates. And we can... Baldi? Dragons. I don't know. <laughs> don't think about this walk is funny. Why is he, why is he walking like that? <laughs> I don't know, it's like that walk is kind of funny to me. What do you want? He just wants that reward. He doesn't want to be at the Hero Academy. Where does he want to be? Some kind of promotion to a different place? Samira got some other plans. Uh, awkward. I don't know if she gave her a bell. What is this? Yes, he's a child prodigy, Anishu. I agree. I think that slap was warranted. This redemption arc is actually cooking so well. The amount of development Amelia's getting is insane, bro. It was true. <laughs> Ten-year-old Riz! Oh my god, she's making me she's crying, she's crying, bro. 
Anos is actually such a benevolent person because like if he was so cruel, he would just let Amelia suffer by herself, right? Here, she has nobody here. She has no friends. Everyone fucking hates her. Sucks. But Anos is like, you know what? I'll be that one person for you. I'll be Anos Shu. And even though I pretty much put you in this predicament, I'll be there to kind of like, you know, be your therapist. That's actually kind of nice that Anos is doing this. Alright, she got her spirit back. <laughs> and that should do it. Easy, easy. What? what? 26 people are in coffins in this place? Because it seals the curse? I thought they'd be like in bed at home, but they're here. Uh, I feel kind of not good about it. No one in there! You liar! It's a trap! Did, a dra Did the king fucking plan this? I got baited. I got baited by the fucking king. He was speaking so smoothly. He was like, oh, welcome Yusha again. It's this, this piece of shit. Fuck you! Divine messengers. What, but the dragon Ichu, the source gets destroyed. Yeah, why not you, king? Because, oh, it, it, not me. I gotta, I gotta, I'm the king. I'm, the, I'm important. But you, you guys take it, right? Divine retribution. Classic excuse. So all 26 are gone. Fed him to the dragons, right? That's what he's implying here. Children too? I mean, this is not the first time we've had a plot where it's like succession and the king or the emperor feels scared of the power imbalance. So he seeks out to pretty much fuck his own people over to make sure he has the power. But bro just literally fed the entire family to the dragons. He's like, nah, I'm not even gonna bother making it discreet. No, 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 I'm not gonna make the different, you know, important family households fight each other. I'll just feed up to the dragon. Oh, yes, you saved them from hell. Makes sense. Equus mentioned again, Equus. Was it? I can't even tell if he's like being tricked or if he's intentionally doing this because he's sinister. Maybe he's just dumb and he got tricked by it. Oh, another Pokemon? Guardian God of Emotions. Uh, what the fuck is that? Uh, Misa! We need Dark Misa right now. Dark Misa, give me that purple lipstick. Come on, Dark Mode Misa. Come on, just enable the Dark Mode switch. Also, Shin would never let this even happen. I wonder where Shin is. Is he around? I want to believe that, like, Shin is around, like, behind his corner right now. Just, like, peeking. He's like, hmm, Ray, you got to really prove it to me now. If you want my blessings, if you want to take Misha as your wife, you must prove to me. And he's just fucking waiting. Wait and see a little longer. Misha can do it? Dark Misha! Bring out Avil Stilhevia! Nah, nah, wait and see what happens! She said wait! Let her cook! Come on. Dark Misa and kill the king! Nice, nice, nice. How does she go override it though? Because she's the offspring of a spirit and a literal sword. How does that work? Was that? Wait, 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 wait. Not even her soul can be stolen from the gods because I've already stolen myself. Because during the fight against Misa in season two at the end, when he like killed her, does that count? Is that what he's talking about? I never really understood what happened during that fight. <laughs> but he's <laughs> he's risking her right now. Uh, really? I'm just gonna assume that's what the event of, you know, Avos versus Rei was. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is something awakened outside? What is- Oh shit, it's a dragon- it's, That's the outlier! That's the- Remember? Uh, if it's a different color from the dark shaded ones, it's like an outlier. It's like super rare, but apparently it's just fucking here. Okay. <laughs> Don't look back, you said, right? <laughs> Or fight. No. You think 
Because, like, he Erdo made specifically said that did Jire do the barrier threat shit? It doesn't work on these higher level dragons or something, right? But the kids are here. Can Emilia really just run away? Or is she going to stand up and be like, Children, I need your spirit bomb energy. And Emilia will get the energy of everybody. And then, you know, then we'll, we'll clutch. Oh, it's like shaking, bro. These kids can't leave. And Media gonna learn. She's gonna earn the respect here. Then help out, bro! Self destruction magic. I think we saw it before, yeah? Oh, <laughs> did she just attack the kids? I thought that was a dragon attack. Emilia shot a firebolt at the kid. Alright, let's see how crazy the CGI fight goes. Monologue time. Oh, this? No, no, no. If, if you have a moment like this and you're starting to monologue, yo, something crazy is about to happen. Either she's gonna die or she's gonna clutch crazy. Face your problems. Stop running. Oh, it's all the immediate, right? She hated herself the most. No, I thought that classes were fun. Emilia, no! How the fuck did he show up here? Was he flying the entire time? Protect the kids. The teeth. The teeth. The berries. Someone took it. No. They all are injured by the teeth right now to protect the media. Show me. Oh! Yo. The heroes. What the fuck? <laughs> when he's a fight teacher, he's saying that she looks fucking hot when she doesn't talk. Just the face, though, remember? Fine, teacher. Yeah. Thanks. I guess it. <laughs> I was. Go uh, I, 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 I get what you're saying, but all right. I guess we're both scumbags. Sure. <laughs> And the rest of the kids down there. Okay, she's an actual teacher now. Holy fuck, it's working. I know what? It's true, because like they didn't want to believe in any of the grown-ups, right? Because all the grown-ups basically set these kids up. These poor kids were just like slotted as like fake heroes without them even knowing and had to force a life like that. So it actually makes a lot of sense. The more I like to take a step back and try to think from their perspective, it makes a lot of sense why they act like this, man. This is crazy. I used to hate these fucking idiots, right? Season one, these, these, these dudes were fucking trash. Amelia also trash. But it's crazy how they've taken that into now. And we're actually rooting for them. The development, the redemption in this show, it's crazy. This soundtrack too, man. That's what... Wait, that's what... <laughs> Until then, you know, there was nothing from Amelia. And then the kids said, hurry, if we survive, we'll take your classes seriously. And then Amelia's like, oh, really? Okay. Go, barrier magic. That bell. Lucky charm my ass. That bell definitely does something. I know she planted this. Is it magnifying the amount of energy we're receiving? Does it make it easier for it to get it? Something about this, though, it's good. Oh, from within. 
the barrier can be from used within to tie down all these different blood vessels and organs and shit like that. So it can be used as an offensive magic from within. Is that the idea? <laughs> this CJ fucking dragon tumbling around is so fucking bad, bro. It's just... What is up with anime always trying to include fucking dragons and they're always CGI, bro? It just looks so fucking bad. But at least if you're inside, you know, you don't need to have CGI in here. But it's like, bro, every goddamn anime, the dragons are all CGI. Not all, but most. Yeah, she basically John Smith right now. That fall damage. Immediate inside. It's, it's soft in there. It's soft and squishy. Okay, she's at the mouth of the dragon, I think. The fucking hero trio that I hated. And immediate that I hated. It, they're saving her. This is insane. <sighs> Completely off topic, but I swear to God, if in the irregular, ma the irregular Magic High School, if Morisaki gets a scene like this, if Morisaki right now gets some kind of redemption like this, I will fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not Tsundere, bro. It's not Tsundere. Come on, get in, get in here. Come, get in your glasses, come on. Do it in the span of one episode. It's like, we slapped this guy, remember? Like 20 minutes ago. Like 15 minutes ago. We slapped this dude and thought it was over. It's working. The redemption. And that bell. What did that bell really do, Anochi? Maybe they'll explain it later. Maybe it's a light novel. And that's the episode. I didn't realize that the redemption arc for Amelia will be completed so quickly. Well, it's not completed, but basically the big work is done. I thought it would take a lot more work to actually get the faith of these kids. How do I reach these kids? But if you think about it, Amelia and the rest of the heroes, the fake ones, as well as the kids here, they all can really relate to each other, huh? Like she hates herself and she's kind of exactly what the students also kind of represent. And it's, it's so beautiful how they started so bad in season one. And then now it's like she's going over all her insecurities, all her sins, atonement on the kids to realize that they were lied to and they're victims. And it was wrong for me to ever shit on them. Well, it was fine in season one. But in season two, the way that they saved her at the end, bro, with the entire monologue of her just giving up. And like, she didn't even have to save the kids. She could have just said, fuck it and just left. Remember what Erdeme said? If you see the outlier, the variant dragon, you better fucking run without looking back. But she's like, nah, I'm gonna save these kids. And then the students reciprocated the favor and saved her beautiful redemption i'm not sure if they're gonna moving forward moving forward they're probably not gonna be completely glazing her there's probably gonna be a little bit of fun banter but for the most part the heavy work has been done in this redemption arc now in terms of the other plot what the fuck was going on here the king fed all his family to the dragon because he's been lied to by ahide the king actually seems to be too stupid and he isn't doing this intentionally He's doing this because he truly believes what Ahide said? I don't know. Either way, he's a complete piece of shit. And while Misa was about to die or something, Misa was about to get overtaken. What the fuck happens? Ray's like, nah, you can't do shit to her soul. Because I took it last season when I fought Avos. Is that the idea? And I'd still like to think that Shin is just like around here on a pillar. Just being like peeking over. Like, is my daughter safe? You better not fuck this up. Ray. I believe in you. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.